Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cal Pack Pack, where death stalks around the edges in the form of many big-eyed apes and many very hungry carnivorous plants who have been nomming on our nichelings. In fact, we actually have two poor nichelings, Toy and Baldar, who are currently stuck inside of the plants. I don't know if we're going to be able to free them. There's so many dangerous plants all around us. We have got so many big-eyed apes surrounding us too. We we, we might outlive them, maybe, which would be kind of amazing, but we're down to only 16 food. We don't have enough nichelings to really collect a lot more food, and life is looking pretty pretty tough right now. So we've got, um, Shadows has just had her son, Kirtha, who actually has got distasteful to, he, somehow he was born with stinky tail. Somehow this child was born with stinky tail to try to dissuade, uh, like two types of apes. He's got distasteful appearance. He smells bad. Hopefully that will be enough to keep him alive. Who knows? He is, he's kind of our only hope because Rala is about to die, unfortunately. Koya is, is sort of tucked away in the edges. Let's see, F and A, A and F. All of our immunities are starting to get pretty familiar. Koya just called out for help because she is surrounded by big-eyed apes. She is currently hidden with camouflage that is just enough to hide from them, which is fantastic, hiding in the grasses like this. Garrett, who is an albino nicheling, does not have the same benefit. And even hiding in the grasses, he only has two camouflage. So I'm hoping we can desperately send him up to free Toy, and hopefully Toy will be able to live, live Toy, and find a mate and keep this tribe alive, but I, I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. So let's carry on. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Gonna have to face facts. Toy is done. So I think that's the end of Toy. We need to possibly rescue Boldar. Glacier. I may send Glacier up to do that, but only after we become pregnant with another one of his children. Uh, maybe with both of our niche links, because I'm, I'm that desperate right now. F and I immunity. I can't believe that this little one was born healthy. Uh, in fact, that's too close. That's too close. Rala? Okay. Okay. Okay, we've got this. Okay. Rala is going to come over here and eat this, so she'll live a little bit longer. Koya has been calling for mates. Nobody has answered so far. I'm going to send her down here to grab this food, because we need food to survive. Garrett is going to be chased down by these apes no matter what I do. So I'm going to send him away and we're going to try to get him up here. Maybe something will happen if we do that. Kirtha is our little baby. He actually has really good camouflage as long as he's in the grasses. So we're going to try. Oh my gosh, I almost thought I fed the baby to a plant and I just about had a heart attack. We're going to try to take care of that. Glacier is going to come up here. We know there's a big eyed ape somewhere around here. We're low on food. Forgive me, Boldar. We're gonna grab some more food and then Glacier's going to try to free his brother. And then they can hopefully run up here and maybe call for a new nicheling to join the tribe. But we are really low on food right now. So I really need to work on food. <laughs> okay, one baby has been born. One nicheling has been lost. We have more food from Koya over here. We have got Kirtha gathering up food from this plant right here. A new plant will be growing right here and it could be very deadly and dangerous very soon. I need to remember that. Shadows has just had, unfortunately, an albino baby girl. However, she is healthy. She does not have bad immunity. That is a huge bonus. Vrala, I'm going to start sending up to clear away some of the grasses. Hmm, I think that all of the twiddly do grasses actually regrow. So that's gonna make conquering the jungle very, very difficult. Glacier. I'm gonna send over here and hopefully he can free his brother next time. I'm really hoping that'll work. So Rala, I'm gonna send her up here to help gather up this fruit while we still can. And then when it comes to Garrett, I'm gonna have him run. And at the very least, perhaps what Garrett can do is help reveal some of the layouts of the land and help us figure out what is waiting for us out here. So if there's dangerous plants, maybe he can reveal them. Here's a plant that he might be able to tackle. I think Garrett is just gonna have to live life on the run because he is an albino nicheling. He stands out and everyone wants to eat him. Okay, very low on food. Please rain. Okay, no rain. Yes, rain! Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and free our brother as quickly as we can. 
Uldar is about to pass away no matter what we do, unfortunately. I can try to go ahead and help him heal a little. I'm going to send him out into the open, even though that's so hard to do because he, he's, he's taken so much already. And then we're going to come... I thought it was on this side! Glacier, no! What am I doing? Oh, this is so hard. So hard. All right, Rolla, could you rescue him? Ugh, and there's so much tall grasses in the way that I cannot reach him very swiftly to be able to rescue him. Um, ugh, ugh, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. All right, Rolla, if you could please come this way. Does that grass regrow? No, it doesn't. Oh, thank goodness. Ugh, twiddly do grass is becoming my least favorite right now. And Shadows is not even pregnant. Let's see, Kirtha, gather up this food like a good baby and clear that grass so that we know there's a dangerous plant there. We have still got Sinala hidden in the grass uh, and she can stay there for a minute while her mother Shadows grabs all of this food. Her aunt Koya grabs all of this food. We might have to send her back over here to call. In fact, Koya, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna start calling for mates in a second here. And then Garrett just needs to keep running. He needs to keep running as far as he can, as fast as he can, and going as deep into the jungle as he can. And it's not ever going to be enough, but maybe the headway he can make will clear the path for future niche legs. And I've really got to keep a better eye out on where all of these, these dangerous plants are, because they're destroying our tribe. <laughs> okay, somebody got hurt. Was that Garrett? Okay, Garrett, hang in there, buddy. I know you're doing your best to try to get away, and it's, it's all we can do. Uh, all right, he's he's made it this far. There is a healing plant over here. I will totally let him have it if he can reach it. All right, and then when it comes to Boldar, Boldar could free his brother and return the favor or jump up here and call for a mate. Okay, Rala is gonna jump up here and free Glacier. There we go. Oh no, and somebody's coming. Boldar, you've only got a minute to live. Do this and then run for it. Maybe we would have summoned a new nicheling. All right, and Glacier, gather this food because we need more food desperately, desperately, desperately. All right, and Sienna, I'm actually going to have her start coming over and maybe joining the others over here. We are starting to explore the jungle a little. <gasps> this is amazing, guys. Okay, we've got to clear away that grass because we've already explored this spot. And then Kirtha can start moving along here. We'll hide in the grasses so that we can keep Kirtha alive and then we'll start exploring the grass. Oh my gosh, we're making a tiny 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 bit of headway uh, Kolala is this ah oh, dang it Koya. This is too dangerous to go near so I cannot call anybody from this stump We'll just have to see if we can work her over here to gather up all the abundant food that we've already uncovered Because we are pretty darn low on food. I don't even have enough food to invite any nichling in That was a lot of screaming from a lot of nichlings we have unlocked a new gene, possibly being related to being beat up. I have no idea what we have just unlocked because I think, yep, we unlocked spiky body and that actually does give us strength. <gasps> so we can assign that to some of our nichelings, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna do it. If, if, if Garrett could live, I would totally assign that to him, but he's not going to make it no matter what I do at this point. I feel so terrible. Um, one of my nichelings just got snatched by a plant. What? No, it regrew! That was my- I need that nicheling! Free him! Kirta, you're free! Oh my gosh. Alright, so Kirta got attacked by the plant, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna send him over here. Oh gosh, it makes it look like all of the plants have enough food and they don't. Okay, that regrows. Don't bother clearing it away. Uh, Sinala can come over and attack this plant and now it has a little bit of food for us. Uh, Kirtha has A and F immunity, F and I on Rala. Oh, Rala's about to pass away soon. I should probably go ahead and let her have some babies because we need at least one non-albino female, please. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Glacier, gather all of this food. We're really, we're really pushing it now. Let's go ahead and have Rala. Hopefully, ah, oh, she did not have any success becoming pregnant with a baby. Uh, Shadows might need to have a baby. I know that Koya needs to have a baby. Um, and we need to find a mate of some kind. So Koya, I think I might have to send her up into the danger zone up here. 
and it's just gonna have to be what it is because we need to have a mate we need to have a mate and we need to have some children and it's not gonna happen if we don't get up there so okay lost two nichelings both of my albino babies on the edge unfortunately um the plant has regrown and it is a danger plant so we have got to get kirtha away from it right now so we'll send him up here and Rala is desperate to have a child, so I'll send her right over here. Let's see. And then we have got shadows. Hmm. All right. Baby Sanala is doing good gathering food there. Glacier is about to pass away. Kirtha. I think I want to send Kirtha up here to patrol the edges until we finally, finally, finally find a mate of our own. However, we need to avoid this path because this path has led to so much death and destruction from those carnivorous plants so often. I wish there was a way you could like, oh, if we had some diggers, we could leave a trail to mark like which trail is safe to go on, but we don't. We don't. Ugh. All right, let's see. Shadows, I'm gonna have you come around the side like this. And then Koya, grab some food, because we always need more food on this island. And we're going to have her start running up here. We have got to stay near a, a trunk where we can call for mates on the regular. Or else we're not going to make it. Please, Calpax. We're so close. Okay, lost one nicheling. Had a baby! Had a, had a baby! Had a healthy baby! <gasps> Cozy, I love you! Oh my gosh! Cozy. Uh, I love that name too for now. Oh my goodness gracious. We have been so lucky. So lucky, but she's so strong. She's too strong. Rolla, have another child and this time think more nimble finger and thoughts. I beg you. You're, th you're thinking too strong. Cozy has no ability to collect anything, but she has a lot of strength, which is awesome. But we need we need a different kind of a different kind of strength in this tribe. <gasps> no, and we have an, an ape coming for us, and the babies are uncovered. Ah, ah! Oh my gosh! And I need food. I need food. Okay, food, food. <gasps> Baby, female. I am the immunity. Not the best, but it'll do. It'll definitely do. Get in the tribe. Use up my. <clears throat> Use up my, my stuff, get in the tribe, and go to safety right now. Get in those bushes and stay there. Why do you still only have two? Are you, are you not? You're hiding. You're hiding. I think she has, oh no, she has mask, not stripes, but we have a new female. Okay, very important. Kirtha, you need to go and join that other female, like ASAP. Rala, jump over here. Dang it, I'm not going to be able to get Rala to have another baby. This is her final day. So, dang it, and I've got to protect the baby, but I can't protect the baby. Whew. Okay, and we need food. We need a lot of food. Shadows, turn around. You're going to walk along the edges, and you're going to get back over here where there's some food. We're going to grab the last of this food, and I'm going to send Kirtha. Let's see. I'm going to send Kirtha down here, and we're going to actually run along the waterways back over to the food that's over here, because it seems to sustain us the most. Okay, okay, let's see. Kirtha? jump and clear a spot or should I have him clear a spot he has got nimble fingers I really hope his daughter makes it he's gonna just have to go and gather some food and speaking of food Koya gather up this food and then we're gonna have you keep running over here oh this is tense oh I, I, I don't know if inviting that female was a mistake she can only gather a little bit of food but I might be able to send her up and I might be able to at least utilize her for for breeding as terrible as that sounds Okay, please, please, please make it, baby Kosi. Please make it. Your mother has passed away. You are now being surrounded by an ape. Uh oh. Okay, that's gonna be good food. Okay. All right. Attack this plant. Eat the food. Stuff yourself on it. We're gonna have Cora jump down here and do the same. All right. And we're gonna have baby Kosi. Will the apes get snagged by by the carnivorous plants? Because that would be amazing if they would. Baby Kosi is gonna run for it. I don't think she can do much. And Sanala, Sanala, also a female. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have Sanala run for it this direction. As terrible as that is, she's gonna run for it. She's kind of out in the open and exposed right now. But I'm gonna have her try to run for it over here to see if there's anything we can eat or anything we can do. We are so low on food. Very dangerous situation right here. Koya, 
Sequoia, you need to push through the bushes and you need to eat from that bush. And I wish you had a mate. So bad. So bad I wish she had a mate. All right, almost there. Okay, got some food. Thank goodness. Shadows, you're fantastic. I love you. Baby, 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 baby! Oh, big ape! Big ape, curse you! Closey could actually fight back a little bit, so I'm gonna let her. Ah! Like, she fought back just the tiniest bit, but at least we can do that much. Okay, this plant we can actually eat from. Gonna go ahead. Sonala, you might have to, like, not make it, but we're doing our best here. Kosi, um, run for it this way. There's healing plant you can eat from. All right. Kirtha, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to run with Korra. You two are, are getting out of here. I need all of the food from here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna leave that one fruit and maybe it'll prevent the plant from ever growing back. So the plant stays there and we'll see what happens. Kirtha, uh, let's see, Korra, we don't have a lot of food, but hopefully you can gather food from over here. You would not have the best children. I'm gonna try to get your children to have stripes and I'm definitely gonna try to get your children to have nimble fingers, uh, but it's better than nothing. And unfortunately it does have a little bit of genetic overlap, right? No, good, no genetic overlap. All right, go ahead, become pregnant. You're not gonna have your baby over here though. So keep running for it. All right, both of you keep running for it. Keep running for it. There's a leech coming, that's food. I don't, I'm happy about that right now. Uh, all right, and then we've got Cola over here. She's got lots of food all around her. I'm gonna have her go ahead and grab some of that. And then she'll work her way over to hopefully at that tree stump if she can make it before the end of her life. Okay, <laughs> ape is coming. Ape is a jerk. All right, all right, let's see what we can do. Kosi is going to attack again. She's actually doing a little bit of damage. I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, we're gonna have Sanala clear this area. Kosi's gonna jump over here to try to heal up. Sanala is going to run down here and attack this plant to get some food. It's the best I can do. One of our, our nichelings is bleeding. There's a female named Isko with really terrible fertility. I'm not even gonna bother. Isko, you are now, you are now monkey meat. Forgive me. Uh, also, the Razorina are coming! Nope, get off of him! I need Kirta alive! Do you hear me? Korra, could you check? Okay, the plant has not regrown. Korra is now going to be perched uh, happily up on top of the grasses here. We've got shadows gathering up some food here. Uh, oh, and yes, Kirta actually managed to get that shell, so we got a little bit more food. And now I'm going to send him off so that we've got to avoid the danger plant. We're gonna come over and feed from this area. Oh boy. Cora, you're gonna, we might have to start leaving babies like tucked into various nests since we cannot really defend them and trying to come back in and see what we can do afterward. All right, and then I want all the food from that from Koya. All right, and let's see if Kosi can survive. She is now strong. She is taking this ape out. Please, 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 please. Okay, we had a death. That was shadows. Kosi. Ah, she's only got one move available. Ah, she's gonna have to run for it. There's just no choice and she's still bleeding. Okay, run down here. Whoa, that's bad. This is bad news. Bad news, apes. Okay, those two are trying really hard to survive together. Will I be able to get Kosi? There's some food over here. <gasps> what if we could dive into the water and run away from the ape? There may be hope yet. There may be hope yet. And Shadows has passed away and left behind a little, a little a stinky tailed granddaughter, I think, named Rice, who has got recessive barina snout, which is, uh, at least she still has distasteful appearance with the derp snout, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Can she do anything? She can gather food. Rice, we're gonna name you little, little, um, let's see, and Shadows just passed away, so I'm gonna name her, I wanna name her, like, Rascal, uh, actually because she looks like a little rascal and I'm really hoping that she'll she'll survive. All right, Cora, you're gonna have to leave your baby unprotected for just a minute, but maybe that's the way the nations are gonna start doing things, kind of having multiple nests where they kind of leave their babies somewhat under observation, but somewhat on their own for the sake of trying to make sure that the tribe as a whole survives. Kirta, you're gonna leave her with another infant and you're going to hopefully pass on those nimble fingers and that barina claw uh just I, which you already had but i guess i needed to double up on it because i'm panicking 
And do I really only have six members? Okay, okay. All right, up here, Cola, you've only got a little bit of time to live. Uh, that regrew, so that's that's useless to us. Okay, and, ooh. Let's do this. The ape didn't follow us into the water, oh my gosh. We may have a chance to live yet. All right, guys. So I'm going to see if we can have Kosi continue doing battle with the apes, hopefully finding a mate of her own. Now I'm actually down to just one male, and I just realized that, and that's very, very bad. We're going to do our best to survive, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.